once a Cougar, always a Cougar. I always want to win. Takes a shotgun snap. BYU gets in. He's being chased. He goes out. Fumble! Fumble! Picked up! And who's got it? Kyle Van Noy! Touchdown! Touchdown, BYU! You know, I, I don't watch as many games anymore just because I'm on the East you, Coast. You are and, busy, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I play on Sunday now. But, you know, I try to get every chance I get to cheer them on, especially the that Utah game, oh, you yeah. know, I always got to cheer yeah, on that sure. game. Um, hopefully I'll be able to go to the yeah. game. That'd be exciting. Um, they need to win that game. Uh, there's a generation out there that hasn't seen a dub. I'm I'm 0 and 4 against them, but they made me a lot of money, so yeah. that's the trade-off. <laughs> you know, I think he's on the brink of uh, success. I think he's knocking on the door. Uh, I think. Uh, he has he's taken on a challenge in itself of uh, taking a foundation that was already built from Bronco and now you know he gets to put his own spin on it and get his own guys and I'm excited to see him finally get his own guys that he's recruited into the system and uh, play BYU football I'm excited for him Tom says it best when we take the field before the game um, when he's giving that speech uh, it changes the lives around you, meaning your parents, the pride that they have, you know, having a Super Bowl champion son and, you know, your cousins, your best friends and so on, the, the pride they get to walk around with the rest of their lives. And then for you, um, you know, words can't express how it's such a blessing to win those games um, and even be in it, to be honest, like everyone's watching and it's it's a beautiful beautiful game to play in and you know i'm i'm just proud and excited to be able to play for the patriots and oh, yeah. um be a two-time super bowl champ it's pretty remarkable you know me and him become good friends you know he's that right yeah i'm lds so he always yeah. says i love my mormons and especially <laughs> me i'm his favorite one he's, uh, is that right? so it, we have a good relationship and you know he's been a really really good friend for me taking me in and just embracing um, me, and I appreciate that. It's awesome to finally get some respect in the league, you know, because I've always known I could play, and, you know, Billy B, my man, yeah, yeah. Uh, took a chance on me, and yeah, I have a really good relationship. I'm one of those guys, I'm not scared to talk to him, you know, I'll give my two cents if I see something, um, and he comes up to me and if he wants something done, we're able to have a discussion whether it's good, good or bad. <laughs> and, you know, that's a great relationship to have, you know, that trust and accountability with your coach and to have that trust in you to get the job done. Funny thing is, is you have all these other teams that say they'll be back right. or yeah. when they, they lose in the playoffs or however. And if you ever notice, we don't ever say anything. That's a good point. And we just smile. We don't talk about it. We just know it takes one game at a time, and whatever happens, happens.